your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the subscriber contracts. And today's contract, Gardener's World, set in the Dartmoor Garden Show map. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Paul Anderson 37. So moving on to our briefing, Monty Don has got in touch as he is jealous of how many shows Alan Titchmarsh has. Let the agency send Alan a message to show that Monty is the superior gardener. So for today's targets, we have five of them. All must be eliminated whilst wearing our suit, two in accident explosions, two in accident electrocutions, and one with an explosive device. We also have only the one exit available to us. We can only get headshots, and we cannot be spotted. No bodies can be found excluding accidents and poisons. We cannot be recorded. We must only eliminate our targets and we cannot change disguise as our objectives. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting at the default location and we'll be bringing with us a breaching charge, a micro remote taser and our silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, we are gonna head all the way around the building, the Carlisle Mansion, and at the very rear, we will find a very useful item. So we're gonna head around to the right here, where we will pass two of our targets. One is just off to our right. The other is leaning against the van just to our left. We will come back for them shortly. So once we get around to the back of the property here, just up against the wall, we will find a propane cylinder. And once we have that in hand, we can then return to the side entrance where the kitchen is located. And we can begin with our first target, who is this gentleman just here on a break next to the van. So as you can see, there is a car battery there as well. We're gonna be grabbing that shortly. But in the meantime, we're going to throw our propane cylinder just on the floor so that it bounces just by our target. That will distract him briefly, but he will eventually go back to his routine, which is to lean against the van and smoke a cigarette, which is very, very bad for him and anyone else. So once he loses interest, he will return to the front of the van and he will be very, very briefly, very warm and have a very, very quick and free flying lesson. And we managed to destroy a perfectly good man in the process. So target one has been dealt with. We are now gonna make our way back to the rear of the property while everybody panics and we are going to move on to our next target who is just up at the stairs in the rear entrance to the yeah, property like we're going to uh, turn on the tap here uh, which will create a puddle next to our two electrocution targets and once the puddle has formed we're going to throw our car battery into the puddle or just before it so that it rolls in and that will get the attention of at least one of our targets and when he comes along to investigate he will have a very shocking experience so while there is still panic going on we are gonna hop over the balcony after collecting up uh, our target here's firearm and we're just gonna quickly hide that away that will come in handy a bit later on 
And we're now going to move on to our second explosive accident kill. And our next target is located just down in the garden area. Currently fixing a ride on lawnmower. So using our silenced pistol, we're going to just shoot the petrol tank above the rear wheel and then very quickly uh, ignite the fuel and that will cause quite a bit of panic and both of those two final targets there will now be spotted we're going to take a scenic route back to the electrocution kill location and as you can see the target's body has been found uh, there is a gentleman here who's come to investigate the puddle he has noted the body but he is actually going to ignore it for the most part we're going to wait for this gentleman to turn off the tap that we turned on earlier and when he vacates the area we can then make our way back to the puddle we've created and once he has moved away we can then drop our taser into the puddle and our next electrocution target will return shortly who is the one currently obligated to remove his colleague so he will come back and instead of taking his usual position he will move in to remove his colleague at which point we can then detonate our remote taser He's managed to destroy some of the brickwork there and one of the lights so he must be quite a heavy chappy so that's four targets now dealt with and we move on to our fifth and final and possibly most tricky target of the challenge so our last target is here and as you can see he is accompanied by a colleague of his so we're just going to wait for them to move off slightly and then we're going to drop the gun we've collected just somewhere on the path here we're going to make our way over to the well where on the far side we will find a couple of coins they will come in very handy and then we're going to make our way off to our right and into the bushes here and await the return of our target and his colleague and what we're relying on at this point is the non-target guard to spot the gun which he has done and he will move in and take that away leaving his colleague and our target alone and vulnerable so our target's next stop will be the well where we collected the coins and when he gets close to that point we are going to lure him into the bushes using the two coins we've collected so once he gets relatively close to the well area we're going to just throw one coin out of the bushes there to lure him somewhat closer he will radio in every time because he is a suspicious person but once he has collected that first coin and begins his routine again we're going to throw our next coin into the bushes and unfortunately i have thrown that coin a little too far so he will move in to collect that but he will not be in the bushes so we're going to use our breaching charge as a third coin as such and we're going to just throw that again into the bushes and once again I have accidentally Jeez. thrown that a little further than I wished Whatever. so we're just going to quickly collect that up and we're going to render our target here unconscious hopefully before his colleague returns we're going to drag him into the bushes and once he is safely tucked up we can then place our breaching charge by his head although he is a little bit exposed here it should be fine though as we are very very close to our exit so we're just gonna place our breaching charge by his head start making our way towards the exit detonate the breaching charge for the explosive device elimination and then cross the bridge to make our quick getaway so there we go one more subscriber contract taken care of 
This is the first of two in the Dartmoor area. We have confirmation our targets were eliminated according to plan. We met all of our objectives and we get our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.